Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this. Oh, that no was beautiful. One my brain, you hear me? No one. I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. Jen? Oh, yeah, right. I assume you're getting keys to bust us out of here. Yeah. Jen. No time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. Isn't he a little short for a stormtrooper? I mean, guard. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? There. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper. <laughs> what do I have to do? Come on! Okay, this is fun. Um, hmm. Now then. Mission objective is to break... Uh, I can't... Okay, uh, for some weird reason, I have to click on the door in order to exit. Okay, Hotshot, what's next? We gotta now break we Doc Brown out. Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Nope. Okay, then. But first... Um... What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. Yo, know, I'm that? probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? <laughs> Rock and roll. I was about to say, PDA, one of the worst things you can do in, in, in this universe, in this timeline, I should say. Okay, um, so we should prob- Okay, we actually don't need to worry about staying out of sight of Edna. I recognize that helmet. Isn't that- that's the same helmet from, from the first movie. I've seen that helmet somewhere before, but it never did that. No, it was supposed to give him telepathy Increase or no psychic powers. By 17%. I used to think she was a little annoying, but now she's just plain evil. And hey, do we still have her guitar? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to intention. Well, I didn't mean to, you know, reveal my evil laugh or anything. Um, but I'm looking. Oh, hello, food. I'm looking forward to um playing on those big speakers that we just saw. Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannen's. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I could be pretty persuasive. No. Why are you talking so weirdly? Oh! Okay, so, control panel. Um, I have a funny feeling we need to get Biff to pretend to cooperate. And then we can use the control panel. But I'm going to click it anyway, just to see. Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. Stop fighting it, darling. You're All right, so where's Biff? Yourself. Um, this way? I'm gonna go around that way first because it looks like it's a shorter path. Door, intercom. Okay. Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Biff. Ah! I should have known. Yep, you really should have. Who else in Hill Valley would they put in there? All right. Uh, I guess the only option is the intercom. Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. Mm. 
You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Hey, Biff. Guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! <laughs> wow! That's some, like, instinctive, violent reaction. The guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Interesting. Crack under door. I'd never get my hand under there. No, but you have a newspaper which I think you can slide under there. It's either that or the dad's picture. I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Hi, Biff. Alright, let's try this again. Eat your pill. Come on, Biff. Just swallow your pill. Onto the paper. Yes! Score. Don't worry, Abbott. It'll Oh, Biff spit. Yeah. Okay, so, um, my next guess is putting the, putting the pill into this guy's soda. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Ah, uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. Also, Marty, your, uh, your badge is crooked. You're probably gonna get a ticket for that. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Yeah, it would not take anything less. Yo, God! Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you! As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. <laughs> Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? Um, no, no. That's a rescue sub Okay. Um but we've got no instruction manuals. Guard. Any, He'll any... be out for a while. Nope, nothing on him. Food? Can we eat the food? Nope, okay. Just like you, Marty, I'm feeling very hungry. Alright, let's see what kind of havoc we can ensue. Jeez. Where's the off button on this thing? I don't think hey, it's quite as simple as that. At least I think it's an equalizer. Okay, optics, volume, tactile, gastrosensory, and olfactory. Hmm. Optics. I feel like we're gonna completely break him if we do this. Volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Yeah, using your guitar. Is there a way to plug your guitar in? I can't plug my guitar into that. Damn. Okay, exit. Is there any way you can plug your guitar into something here? There's gotta be. I mean, look at these controls. Uh, grab your guitar. I mean, is there something here? No. Control panel. Yes! There's no jack. Are you having problems with the controls, citizen? But there is a microphone there. Hmm. Let's turn down the optics real quick, because, you know, I don't want to destroy his brain. Um, hmm. What is this? Tactile. Oh dear! Bad, 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 bad. My bad, I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so gastrosensory and olfactory. Olfactory, I feel like, is your nose. Gastrosensory, I'm kind of curious about, but I'm a little bit worried about what I'm gonna do to him. We're gonna try it anyway. Gastrosensory. <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay. Let's exit. Edna, you've got a microphone. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to come around there and just knock you out. Something along those lines. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for the bathroom. The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. So there is a microphone. I've got to somehow get her out of there. Oh. That's broken. Is there anyone in there? Just that so the guard won't be able to call for help. Alright, let's go back into this room and see if we can... Now, there's nothing I need in there. Ah, damn. Okay, so are there any cameras or something? Mm -hmm. There we go. What Some weird reason Marty wasn't responding to me. Ooh, hey! Nope, never mind. For some weird reason, I thought it was gonna take me to a different one. All right, let's try olfactory. Olfactory? I think I know what that means. What the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. Oh, perfect! I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This would go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time Shush. machines and altering the past. Marty! You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. Marty! And now, uh, please... Okay. Think about the consequences move, 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 of your move, move, move. Me? You're the one threatening the social order of Hill Valley with your... Now then. If I'm right... Ooh, I can see auxiliary in. Microphone. What? Interesting. Are you ready to rock, Edna? Let's get ready to blow this joint. What was that? You! What are you doing? Get what does it look like I'm you doing? Nutcase. Uh oh. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! And now rock them out. Let's go, Your Honor. What? I can't hear you! You're welcome! <laughs> After him, you slackers! Attention, citizens. This is an Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive nonconformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. Nice. Very classy.
And this was actually what I was about to say. So, let's go for the other one. No, I'm kidding. What do we do now? Now we wait for the gods to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Hey, it's my mom. She's been brainwashed. Hey. Don't talk to her. She can give us away. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, because we never went back, Should so it's we still go Clayton help? Ravine. Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. <laughs> I guess. That's kind of a shame. That was a beautiful moment. So, it looks like she hasn't been brainwashed then. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey! What? Right, Dad. What? He finally, he finally got it in him to... To get out, stop being a peeping Tom, and finally punch someone! Now their marriage is saved. Everything's okay. Although, um, Edna's still in control here, so we're still gonna rewrite everything. But at least in this timeline, they're okay. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's, she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Aww. Uh oh. Mom, Dad! You can take them! No. You can take them! Don't fine. give in! Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great! Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. <laughs> See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, I've... and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? What's he gonna do? Okay, so do we literally just... Chill? Here? For a bit? In the bin? Totally, totally not suspicious at all. Just, it kind of gets funnier the longer you look at Marty just standing there like okay um um I'm trying to get out but he's oh, not coming back you know what are you talking about 